Go ahead, Ray. Hey, Ray is with Bridge Cable, one of our senior guys, and he's going to show us how to crack fiber with the Klein. This is one of our new tools, but what we're going to be showing today, Ray, is what? How to pull fiber. Darn tootin'. And you watch this. So he cracks the case. So a lot of times people will put eagle eyes, China, what do you call them, Ray? Uh, Chinese fingers. Chinese fingers. But what happens when you pull with improperly placed eagle eyes, what happens, Ray? The fiber is uh, left behind because the outer jacket stretches. Yep, the armored cable will just, uh, the armored jacket, the MC, will just come stretching out. We'll mess you all up. So as you can see, what he did was he cracked the cable, got to the outer jacket, he got to the Kevlar, cut off some of the fiber strands. He's working with a six strand. So he's just got a wonderful knot. Looks like he was in the Boy Scouts. And this is what we wanna see with all our bridge cable people. Ray enjoys pulling 44, 4,500 feet of fiber? Is that yeah, what you just did? Yeah, the one. And that was great joy to him. He loved it. So basically, you're going to see he's emulated just like what it says. Victoria, what is it called? Bixie. That's right. You guys can look it up. It's also in page 623. You're going to use the finger pullers or whatever you want to call it, the pulling eye, the eagle eye, or you can also just do it just like what we're doing. I still use this with the puller eye because you could still lose some fiber inside your jacket. Right. So what Ray has done is use the Kevlar for a pulling eye or a uh, basically like an eyelet. So then you just attach your mule tape, string, whatever you got. Ray's pretty tall so he can just pull it by himself. So that is the bridge cable way. You want to have a loop of Kevlar and you're pulling away. Anything else that we have missed in pulling magnificent fiber, Ray? I don't think so. All right. Victoria, would you like to add anything? Smile while you're pulling. <laughs>